Your yeah. medical contributor, Dr. Jen Ashton, joins us now. And Jen, so many people are saying, you know, do I have to wear the glasses? Yeah. So listen, let me be crystal clear. It's called solar retinopathy and there is no treatment for it. All right, that is a very dire warning. Yeah. What is it going to look like with the glasses on? Okay, so here's how you tell. I want you to put, put these on. First thing yeah. that you're going to notice when you put on true eclipse glasses oh, is that I'm if you blind. put your hand in front of your face, it's all black. I can't see Okay, anything. now I want you to, this is not exact science, but I want you to look at the studio light right over my Which shoulder. Where, okay, because right I can't see shoulder. anything. We know normally oh. those lights are so bright you can't look at them. So if you're looking, you could have light sensitivity, watery, teary eyes. Wear your enjoy. glasses, everyone, or take a selfie. Eclipse superstitions from a President Trump is uh, just hours away now from unveiling his new military strategy for Afghanistan. Well, authorities in Spain have identified the man they say was behind the wheel during last week's attack in Barcelona. <laughs> <laughs> Certainly the catch of his life. Definitely. No question about that. Thanks, Amy. Coming up, Olympic champion. Today, because I love eggs in the morning. And the other thing I really love in the morning is coffee. So, again, back and forth, you hear it's good for you, you hear it's bad for you. What is it? I had two cups this morning myself. <laughs> Fat makes you full. Absolutely. Keeps you from, you know, reaching for carbohydrates or unhealthy things later in the day. And I also want to ask you really quickly about dairy because, uh, you know, skim milk, whole milk, full fat dairy. What are, what are your thoughts on that? So the current research is saying that when people actually consume full fat dairy, they tend to make better food choices, similar to all of this, right? The other thing that we see when people consume full fat, highs and lows in terms of their blood sugar, and it seems to be part of an okay, healthy diet consumed in moderation. All right, makes a lot of sense. Maya, thank you so much. We appreciate it. Let's go now to Ginger, who is in Nashville for us. As your kids head to college, there are families. More on all of that. Good morning, Deborah. Good morning, Amy. Well, it's one that may feel uncomfortable that they should report them if they see that. That's right. And Deb, you are a mom who has a daughter headed off to college this week for her freshman year. Do you have advice for parents? Their surroundings and things that may feel uncomfortable that they should report them if they see that. That's right. And Deb, you are a mom who has a daughter headed off to college this week for her freshman year. Do you have advice for parents? We've alcohol, but the experts say there are some key tips, though. They already figure to intervene. If you see someone, you, we mentioned your daughter, and you said this earlier, but talking to your sons as well, this is everyone's problem. Everyone's problem is not just young women, even though they're about not condoning this behavior, right. too. Deb, thank you so much, and good luck to your daughter. I'm thank sure you. she doesn't <laughs> need it. All right, let's head back now to Ginger in Nashville.